Well, hello everybody, all four of you, and me. I think I'm one of the four, so I think it uh, it says I got three people here so far, but that's okay. Uh, considering this was uh, definitely unscheduled. Ah, Jody, how you doing? Drone shots. Hey, listen, everybody, let me know how if you hear me okay. I don't know if you notice anything different tonight, but no microphone up there, no headphones on, and. Uh, uh, I've got this little uh, little wireless lav mic here since I'm going to be gone all over the place. Can't be tied down by wires and headphones. So uh, let me know how it sounds. I think uh, according to my uh, little VU meter here, I'm actually making some noise. So if somebody would put it in the chat, if you don't mind, to, uh, to say... Uh, uh, that you can hear me okay. Uh, Drone Shot says, I see now the DJI FPC can run up to 700 milliwatts. Um, yeah, it always it always did, Jody. It, it um, Some of the confusion was in getting it set to the 700 from what I've, from what I've gathered. the uh, uh, and, and of course, if you're in anywhere outside of the FCC uh, version of the firmware, um, if you're over in the EU or anything like that, then you're limited to 25 milliwatts, which I think is why you see so many videos of uh, guys testing it in, in 25 milliwatts because that's kind of what they're stuck with. But from what I've seen of, of the 700 milliwatt settings, the thing's got tremendous range and uh, we'll see. And that's one of the reasons why I decided, I decided to buy it and I bit the bullet. And I don't know how many of you were with me last night when I did my regular Thursday live stream. But basically what I said was the, uh, the first thing that I needed to find out. And I got to tell you, I've had, I've had these things now in the house for about an hour and a half and I haven't opened the box yet. So, uh, it, it's been tough waiting, but I figured I, uh, uh, I figured I would, uh, just do this live and maybe get some guys to come in on be on a little panel and keep me company while I, take them out of the box and hook them up, power them up, check to see if I actually can see them, see the screens clearly with my strange prescription in my eyeglasses. Uh, <laughs> well, come on, get it open. Well, come on now. What do you want this to be? A three minute live stream? <laughs> I wanted to wait until at least three or 4,000 people showed up, but uh, uh, I guess that's, that's kind of pipe dreaming. And anyway, um, Today was kind of a, a big day for, for me and the postman. That uh, I ordered a uh, uh, one of uh, uh, Jody. You'll know about this. One of those Nazgul fives, iFlight Nazgul fives from uh, Banggood. Um, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago, and. Uh, it, you try to track these things and it's very, I made a joke out of it one night on my stream about where this thing had gone. Uh, but it got here today and uh, I got it here. Oh, look at that. The, uh, looks like the see-through label. How about, that's cool. I wonder why it's white. Anyway, got that. And I thought I'd pop that open and uh, just make sure that it came through undamaged. And, uh, and then we'll get to this. Got the uh, the box from DJI. Does it say DJI on it somewhere? It says Amazon on it. So I'm hoping there's a DJI system in there. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, go ahead and and uh, go over to uh, to the the side table here and. Uh, I'm just going to open the box, so I won't be paying attention. I'll, I'll be glancing over at the chat, but I just want to open this up and see uh, see what this uh, this Nazgul 5 FPV drone looks like. And uh, oh, I got me a frame here. Yeah, okay. And we'll see what this is. Okay. So what does it say here? It says uh, it says iFlight FPV racing drone made in China, Nazgul five five inch. Okay, this is uh, the version that comes without a receiver. So I'm, I'm probably going to put a uh, 
either an R XSR or a R9 in it. But at any rate, let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. It's like Christmas here. Oh, Tomas, how you doing? Notice that you came in. Good to see you. It's always fun opening stuff. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a, uh, and, and if you notice the thumbnail on this thing, I'm going to start a, uh, uh, a series on this DJI FPV uh, of videos. And I called this one episode one because I think there's going to be just an awful lot of interest in it. And uh, I see if this, uh, if this, um, isn't a better way to see this here and yeah, there we go so what do we got here let me uh, come in just a little bit and then this is a totally unplanned for last minute live stream and i think i'm going to try to do most of the stuff the drone builds and testing and all the other things for this uh, uh fpv system mostly mostly live except for uh and maybe even show the videos of what i shot Okay, let's see. It comes with uh, comes with two complete sets of props, which is nice, and uh, that's good. And what else you get here? You get uh, this is uh, the antenna. It's uh, let me put it out over here. You get a nice little uh, nice little antenna, and then you get two little uh, plastic straws for the. Um, receiver antennas and here is the uh it's got a cadex ratel camera in it which is a terrific camera so this is the camera control for the for the ratel and you get a battery strap and you get a drone wow holy cow what's in here in here you get a whole bag of extra screws and you also get uh some of these um, sticky rubber things to keep the batteries from sliding and everything. And that's what's in the box. So the drone is got the, uh, the Zing, uh, what did they say, the 2750. This is going to be a 4S quad. This is really nice. Um, it... Uh, nicely made it's got a lot of tpu stuff to hold the antenna and it's got the uh the tpu pads down here on the bottom of the the feet it's got uh uh i say the cadex ratel which has been my favorite camera although with this fpv this dji stuff it may very well be that i don't <laughs> i'll be spending more time flying the fpv stuff than this but when i bought this this drone I think I got it for about 165 bucks, which, uh, which I thought was tremendous. Um, and then when they had their big sale last week in Banggood, they had with, with the discounts, it was 140 something dollars. So I said to myself, you know, to get a drone that's all built like this, when I got it for hundred, uh, it was 179 less, uh, 10%. So it came out to a little over $160 of shipping and freight, no tax or anything. I said for 160 bucks to get a drone of this caliber with, with the Zing motors and the Rattel camera and the, uh, they call the Sussex uh, flight controller and uh, ESC. And I, I said that, that consider what I I've spent building these things myself, that uh, that's a hell of a deal. So um, that's it. Got me a, uh, this is kind of neat. I don't know if you can see this, but it has uh, their new uh, antennas have a little thumb, little TPU thumb uh, screw to help you tighten it. It's pretty, pretty nice. You can see that there. But uh, now let's see if I can get it back in the box. Yes. Okay. Probably got it in the box backwards. Of course I do. Let me check the chat here and see who's come in. John Cuppy, how you doing? Ed, love my drone, drone shots, drone shots. Tommaso Sullivan, same guys, same guys. Anybody want to come and join me and uh, uh, be on a little panel while I start going through this uh, DJI stuff? Let me know. Uh, 
love to have you. In fact, you know what I'm going to do because this, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the link to the, to the, uh, panel, to the, to the chat in here. Um, I'm just going to put it right in the, if I get a troll, I won't let him in, but I'm going to put it right here in, in the deal. There it is. You click on that link. You can come and stream yards. You can come in here and, and be on a panel and discuss this with me, ask questions, whatever you want. Uh, help me, uh, help me, uh, um, keep an eye on the chat because I'm going to be kind of preoccupied. Uh, John, Joe C says, does that use beta flight to update it? You mean this, uh, this drone that I just unboxed this drone here? Um, oh yeah. Yeah. It's just a, it's got an F4 flight controller in it and it's uh, pretty standard FPV drone beta flight, uh, run cam camera and everything. All right. I'm just going to put all this stuff aside right now and uh, let's find some room for it over here. Come back to me. And let's just do a little housekeeping um, and see who we got. Anybody ask me a question? Don't know if it compares to the Mitch 5000. <laughs> I flew that the other day. <laughs> I think, I think considering, uh, considering Jody, that it's got the, uh, I think the motors are a little better than those Ishin motors that, that came from the, uh, came from the, uh, uh, Tyro 99. Joe C just joined. How much was it? This, this, uh, Naz, Nazgul five is $179 on Banggood with no, with no receiver. Um, that's for Joe C. Uh, when I got, I got this one and, and, and there was a 10% discount to it. So it cost me less than 165 bucks for, uh, a completely pre-built drone with all the trimmings, with uh, with a Cadex Rattel camera, the Zing motors, uh, the iFlight su Success uh, stack in it. Uh, I think it's got an 800 watt uh, uh, VTX, and and only and here's it's even got a little wire and a little plug here for the receiver. Although I'll probably sod, hard solder it on, but it's a pretty nice looking. Nicely, nice looking little drone. Anyway, that came today too. So I was kind of anxious to see what it looked like. And I thought it'd be a little fodder for this live stream too. It's a five inch. Yes, it is, John. Uh, Papa, Papa Joe W. You know, we need to make you a moderator. You're the only non-moderator in the house. I should have done that last night, but uh, there you go. Now you'll be blue like the rest of us. Um, it doesn't have, it does not have GPS in it. Most of these quads don't come with the GPS module, but I plan to put one on there. Um, the modules are about 15 bucks and you just hook them up to a UART and away you go and then program it in beta flight to do the GPS rescue and, uh, and whatever else you want it to do. So uh, with all that said, let me go back over to the, the table here and uh, Get the box. I don't know which is which is going to be a better view. This view. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I get a little wider here. And here we go. Again, the only thing that I'm really uh, interested in is can I focus on the screen? So that's going to be the first thing I do when I get it open is get the goggles out, get them powered up and make sure I can see the screen with my glasses. Cause if I can't, then the thing is going to be useless to me. And, uh, I envy all the young kids with great eyesight or people that can wear standard diopter glasses. Me, I have a special prescription with prism correction and astigmatism. And all, although, although I see great, um, I do need those glasses. Okay, here we have another box. I'm still looking for somewhere where it says DJI somewhere on something. Hope this isn't a box of rocks. I did get it from Amazon. Okay. Ah, we're starting to look better. So what do we got here? We got an air unit, one air unit, 
two air units. That's a pretty nice little package. They come, come in these little small packages. We'll open them later. And that's it. There they are. Ant-Man. Okay. Get rid of that box. All right. Moment of truth, everybody. Let's see what we got here. Well, they're, they are new. I'll make sure I'm doing this in the picture here. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's always fun opening up this stuff. All right. There's a a big package here, but let's let's just see what the goggles look like. Oh, oh, they are cool. They're pretty cool. Let's see if they'll. They do fit over my glasses, but what what everybody said is true. They. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of light leak in them. Although everybody says that uh, that um, they're so bright it doesn't matter. But uh, it does feel first and putting up against my face. They're not uncomfortable, but the the foam could be a little spongier. Uh, at any rate, that's that's what they look like. So let's go back over here and uh, find all the other goodies that are that are in the box. I still think that you look like Ant-Man wearing those things. Okay. Get a little more light down here. All right. There's a box of stuff here. We got a USB-C cable. Okay, this is the power cable. And uh, this is one of those put the battery in your pocket kind of deal. So it's got this long, got this long cable here with a XT60 on one end for the battery, and then this plugs in, and it's it's fairly fairly long. It's good length. Okay, so that's the the power, and uh, these are the antennas. There's four of these all together, which really, <laughs> I think, make you look like an, an insect. Uh, okay, so let's put them on. Uh, they use the uh, SMA, what they call RP connectors, the reverse polarity, which means that uh, the pin... The center pin is in the socket as opposed to the antenna. And uh, you got to make sure when you're using a different antenna than what something comes with that you don't screw a, an a RP in a, or a, a, a up to a non-RP or reverse polarity because in one case you'll have no connection because there's no pin. In the other case, you'll have two pins and just bend the hell out of the pins. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And I mean, we've all seen that. I think they're cool. They're not, they're not real heavy, but uh, down the bottom, there's the IPD, the inner pupillary display. And uh, I'm going to start out narrow with those over here. We have a power jack and a headphones. Oh, I'm glad to see that because I got one of those little earphone things so I could actually hear the motor on a quad that, uh, uh, has a mic, and I think that the DJI ones do. Over on this side is the USB-C. Over here is an uh, S micro SD card slot. Um, the buttons on the top, you have um, a back button, a joystick, and a record. And that's, that's about it, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power cord, because this is the... Uh, this is the big deal for me to see if I can focus on this. So I want to plug the power cord in here. I'm going to plug in. Uh, you can use anything from a two cell to a uh, four cell battery. So I got a three cell battery here. I'm going to plug it in. 
it's got the fan came on and I see it says DJI and I can see it I can see it very nicely uh, Wow 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 um, Now, I don't know if if you guys are going to, if I can make this make this work or not, or if you can see in there the, what it says. Uh, I don't think I can do that. No, I can't. But if any of you, hello, if any of you guys have ever had DJI products before, uh, you can probably guess what uh, what's the first thing that comes up on the screen above devices not activated connect to dji assistant 2 fpv series to activate and receive a complete product user experience press any button to exit okay okay i press the back button and i now have the dji logo on the screen is anything else going to happen or am i stuck I guess I'm stuck. Image transmission stopped. It says no SD card uh, in the upper left. It smells like brand new plastic, but uh, it looks like I'm sitting the size of this screen in my view. And this is something that uh, I can't even, I can't even ima imagine um, imagine that you're you're sitting in the front row of an IMAX movie theater. Uh, I, I I don't have any images on the screen, but the sheer size of the screen that you see in these goggles is like it, it's like sitting in an IMAX movie theater on the first row. It it's it completely completely fills up. Um, fills up your field of your field of view and i think it's it, it's it's probably the reason why they put a control in there that um allows you to shrink down the size of the picture to 50 percent because um it's i think it, it just might be too big it might be it might be too big uh, let me catch up with uh, the chat a little bit here. Uh, yeah, John Cuppy says uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> Ant-Man, yeah. And uh, Dr. Drone is in the house. How you doing, my friend? Rick Halber, how are you? Uh, who else has popped in? Uh, there we go. And uh, does that have a mini HDMI connector? No, it doesn't. I don't. I don't see one. On here, it has, a, it should, it's supposed to have, oh, wait, there's something over here. This is the headphones. It's supposed to have an AV in, so you can put in the output of a standard FPV receiver. But I see the power there, and over here is uh, headphones. And where, where else? Micro USB card, a micro SD card, a USB C, but I don't see a. Uh, I'm missing something. It's supposed to be on here somewhere, an AV input. Maybe it, it uses the headphone jack. It might use the headphone jack. Uh, Although that's an output, but it may you may you may actually have to set a menu item. I can't get to any of the menu items because I have to I have to activate this thing. So let's check out what else we got in this uh, what else we got in this package here. I got the antennas on. There's the power cord, and you get. Uh,
two pounds of probably safety directions and instructions and the normal DJI stuff. And this is the uh, the headband. So let's see. Oh, and you get a you get a nice little padded uh, little padded felt line carrying case for it, which is nice. Very nice. All right, let's uh, let's see how this works. So this is this is the top here, and I imagine that this is the Velcro. So this goes through here like that. Well, oh, that's going to be way too big. Start out like this. And this is the side. Over here like this. And this side. Well, the good news is I can see the screen with my glasses. And it's focused pretty well. So that's the... Uh, that's the ticket. Now, let's see. All right, so we need to loosen the top and bring it back to about here. Oh, these are really easy to adjust. Pull it up a little bit to there. Take the side ones. There we go. Does it sit up on top of your head so you can walk around like a real FPV guy? It kind of slides down on my bald head, but uh, uh, problem with glasses. So let's see. I think I don't have them adjusted right yet. There's plenty of room for glasses in here, though. Plenty of room for glasses. It goes on the back like that. Yeah, I think that's all right. Um, I can't see shit in here, but uh, I'm sure I look cool. Love my Vipers. Oh, Papa Joe, that's what I fly. And I'm, I'm certainly going to continue to fly the uh, uh, analog because I got a lot of drones that have it. But uh, first glance of this image uh, in this thing, is um it looks incredible and i mean that seems to be the uh that seems to be the the uh, gist of most of the review videos that uh, that i've seen is that uh people when they guys especially guys that have been flying analog for a long time uh they put these things on and they just wow you know they just uh, can't believe it and uh uh, you need to paint eyes on the outside. You know, I could, I, I could get Ken. I, I, I got a, a pair of Ken Heron, the little eyes. I could put, I could put eyes on them. Um, yeah, you know, it, it does. It almost, it almost cries out to have something, something painted on here. But uh, they're not, they're not that heavy. Uh, I, I don't think. I think they're about the same weight as the Vipers. I like the fact that the Viper has the battery on, on the, in the back of the strap, and I'm sure you could probably rig something up on this. But for the time being, I'm going to, I'll, I'll probably just use them uh, with the, uh, with the battery like this, and the long wire, and stick it in my, just stick it in my pocket. Be interesting to see how long, how long the battery actually lasts. And I'm not going to uh, sit here and bore you guys tonight with. Uh, with all the activation stuff, but I do want to take a look at the, at the air, at one of the air units. And, uh, let me go back over, back over here and get this stuff out of the way and take a look at the air unit and see just how big it is when I put it up against that new little drone that I just got. So let's uh, let's open this up here. Well, obviously, you 
this is not the approved way of unpacking it. So open the other end. There we go. You know, it's uh, at first glance, it's just a lot smaller. I mean, a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's half the size, even though I knew the dimensions, it's, it's half the size uh, that, uh, that I expected it to be. It, it is absolutely, absolutely tiny. And let me try to give you some reference. Here's a GoPro Hero 7. And that's how big the air unit is. It's about half as half as wide. And, and you know, GoPro is not a big, not a big camera. So that uh, that is very, very small. In fact, let me go get that drone that and see if I turn it up sideways like this. Let me go to the other camera here. Uh, if I go sideways like this, get some light from the side on it. Okay, can we see that there? I want to see just how deep this little unit is. I don't know if you can see that it really it really doesn't take up all that much room. It's, it's very, very small. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I've been looking at my drones trying to figure out where I'm going to mount it on some of these drones, but this thing, this thing is, is, is very, very tiny. It's nice. It's all metal. It's got the uh, USB-C port on, on this side here. It's got uh, the uh, connector for the cable. And and they got, man, somebody really went nuts on the packaging on this. How do you get that? <laughs> There's a little antennas. They don't want to come out. Oh, I see what they did. There, it just doesn't seem to be any way to get this out of here without destroying the packaging. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got these two little left-handed circular polarized antennas, which snap into the little connectors on the back of the air unit. And uh, get the other one. How they ever got them in there? So these little antennas. And what I've seen guys do is uh, is cross them with a zip tie like this. But uh, I don't trust these little snap-in connectors enough to just do that. These things need to be tied to a mount that's attached to the frame. But that's uh, that'll work. And what I'm going to do, I think, just for when I do my initial testing is I'm going to take a zip tie and stick it around here just to hold them, hold them together. And I can always cut that off. That'll keep it, keep it pretty much in place there. Okay. So there we go. And uh, then they give you this, uh, this little wire. Feels like silicone, which is nice. That's good. And there's uh, 
six wires here. So from what I understand, the uh, the red and the black wire go to your uh, battery voltage in ground. The two gray wires go to one of the UARTs on the flight controller board to get the on-screen display data and also uh, allow you to change um, PID settings and all kinds of stuff on the flight controller uh, right from the goggles, right from the goggles. And then the yellow wire is SBUS if you're using the receiver. This thing has a receiver built in and then you use the DJI transmitter. But uh, I, it seems like along with most of the guys, are opting to use our regular radios and not use the DJI. So there's a brown wire here, which I think is supposed to be grounded, and then the yellow one probably won't be used. So that little connector goes in to here, like this. Or do I have it upside down? No, it goes in this way. Beers ago. There we go. Okay, so that's in there, and uh, that's what goes in. The, that's what goes in the drone. That's the little air unit. So, um, and you get some instructions with that too. So this this kit that I bought came with uh, came with two air units and the goggles, and it was eight hundred and nineteen dollars. These. I, they sell for uh, $179 a piece. So if you want to, if you want to use these things for all these different drones and you don't feel like removing it and putting it from drone to drone, they're $179 a piece, which does cost a little more. Now, if you're using the DJI receiver, if you're using the receiver, um, And you're using an expensive receiver, like a Crossfire or something like that. Then that little air unit is going to go ahead and uh, replace the uh, um, the receiver, the VTX, and the uh, um, and the camera. So uh, Ed, uh, love my drone, says that it looks kind of bulky. But you know what, Ed? It's not. It really, it really isn't bulky. In fact, it's not much bigger. It's not much bigger around than a flight controller. If you look at the size of this here, if you look at the drone, it's really not much, not much wider than the than the flight stack. Can you see the see the blue? standoffs for the flight stack it's not much wider than that and and in this door in this way it's actually narrower than that and uh, they are making frames where they've extended the back just about a half an inch the back part of the frame here about a half an inch uh specifically for the for dji in fact iflight makes a version i think it's a version of this frame that that where they've just replaced the VTX antenna mount back here and everything with uh, with an extended back and a little TPU printed mount for this. But I'm surprised that uh, there, there's a guy I saw a video today, put this thing, put one of these in a two and a half inch quad and it flew great. Two and a half inch. These guys are, are putting are putting them in uh, three inch quads now on a regular basis. So I think uh, uh, I think the first quad that I'm going to put it in and I'll probably do that that in a live stream too but just not tonight uh, when, when I get get the things all activated and fired up and make sure they're working then I, I think what I'll do is uh, uh, take a uh, do a live stream and actually uh, build build the quad itself and I'd love to be able to have a panel when I do that so I have some company in here and it makes it makes it easier on me if people are looking after the chat and, and the stream while I'm busy up to my neck. Uh, let me go back up. Yes, Mitch, hook it up to the PC. Uh, are you talk, uh, uh, Jody, you, you're talking about um, activating it. Yeah, I, I, it's the same as all, all the other DJI stuff. And I think you have to activate each of the air units as well. <laughs> I think you have to, if you buy, I think you have to activate everything. So, 
I'll have to install that special version of uh, the DJI uh, program. I have all the other versions of my computer, but I'll have to install the uh, that 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 version of uh, of the DJI software so that I can activate these things and you use that for uh, firmware updates too. Uh, who did I see? Oh, Jerry, Jerry Cavalry, drone obsessed this year. How you doing? Uh, Ed thinks it better be a six inch drone, but I think that uh, a five inch is fine. And even a th it'll even fit in a three inch. I was really surprised. But uh, when, when I build the thing, um, you know, you'll see how it, you'll see how it goes in. Um, uh, Papa Joe, I'm waiting until I build my, my Tyro 129. Good, good. You'll enjoy that. You'll enjoy that. Uh, drone shot says USB C MMC X three in one port. I don't know what that means. Looking forward to seeing the final build. Uh, yeah, somebody joined me. Uh, Jody put the link up in there again. If somebody would like to come in here and, and uh, talk talk with me about this stuff, but uh, let me take a let me just sit here and may not be entertaining, but let me just go over the take a look at the quick start guide here real quick. Uh, audio AV import sixteen. That's what I'm looking for. It says uh, it's on. Right next to the power port, but uh, this little uh, this little socket in here says uh, has a little headphone symbol on it so i guess it uh, i guess it doubles as doubles as, oh there's a little there's a little uh little link button little red button looks like a reset button but that's where the link button is um oh okay so let's see what people are saying here Rick Halber's making pork and beans. <laughs> activate them. Uh, Jody wants me to activate them. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. We have... Um, activation. DJI Assistant 2. Okay, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can find this stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, let you follow along with me. Uh, I already have the the DJI. I think I have it. Well, we'll get the we'll get the newest version of it for this thing. Um, let's go to uh, to this screen over here and. It says DJI.com slash FPV. Okay. I'm glad I typed all that in because it just took me right to DJI.com. Why did it make me type in all of that stuff when it just redirected me back to the to their home page? So let's go to consumer DJI series FPV system. Reimagine your world and uh, great downloads. There it is. Okay, it says info at downloads and didn't say that in the in the thing they told you to type. Okay. Software, DJI Assistant FPV Series, release notes, PDF. DJI 2 FPV Series version 2.0. One says package, 
one says zip and one says exec. I think I can just download the exec file. Okay, it's a fast download. Yeah, 132 megabytes. Uh, Rick Howard, a process of burn a pot. Oh, Rick's still burning his beans. Okay, and let's take this and put it over here. And, and let's fire. I imagine the goggles need to be powered on when the, when you hook them up to the USB. So let's get uh, the battery. Power on the goggles. There we go. And then let's go ahead and run the uh, the DJI. Yes, let me run it. Terms of use. I accept the agreement. What am I going to say? No. Oh, this is a setup. Okay, next. Next. Create a desktop short. Cut, yes, install. All right, so you did have to install the program. Some of the DJI Assistant stuff, I think, is just a standalone exec file. But uh, anyway, okay. So one of these is the program, and one of them was the file that I just... Uh, There it is. So what's happening here? There we go. Windows allow access to this program so the Chinese can spy on me. I agree. I agree. DJI therapy sure that software functions for device activation, firmware services. Uh, what the hell? Product improvement. Consider later. All righty, now it says to plug in the USB-C and I, whoops, and it fell out. All right, there we go. I guess I have to log in. Oh, there, something happened. There it is, DJI goggles. Okay, activate device. I guess I have to log in first. Oh, great. Okay, I'm going to, while I try to find my DJI account, I'm going to bring you back to my smile and face here. And uh, look it up on my password manager. It's not something that I uh, use every day. <clears throat> so let's see here. We got... Uh, So how's everybody doing on this Friday night? We're we're sitting here in uh, waiting for another bunch of rain and weather to come along. Okay, so let's get my account number in here. Is that right? And then they give you one of these verifications. W four T Y, and that'll probably activate your device. Start activation. Confirm your account. Yes, I have read the terms. Okay, I guess I can. We can let you guys see what I'm doing here next. I have read the terms of the uh, disclaimer activating. Hey, activation success. All right. It actually worked the first time. Can you imagine? All right. So now I should be able to turn them on and see something other than just the. Uh, You guys are going to get a chance to look at me. Okay, what what's supposed to happen here? As a brightness? Oh, okay, brightness. 
and is there a menu button? Oh, there it is. Okay, player, audience, settings. So let's go to settings and display and reduce. The size it doesn't really change. I don't have a picture yet to reduce. So, okay. And then this is the uh, the back button. I got recording says so. I got a menu in there now, and it says, "Wow, display preferences, focus mode, recording settings, remote controller, PID tuning, AVN format, SD card, language, and device." So I got two no SD card messages, and of course I don't have anything transmitting a, an image yet, so uh, uh, that's all I'm going to see. But uh, works with my glasses. That was the big uh, the big thing. I don't see double images. I don't see one image over the top, one one high and one low. I don't see. Uh, it's not blurry. It uh, the IPD. My eyes are very narrow in, so. Uh, sometimes these devices that have the interpupillary displays don't go narrow enough for me, uh, shifty eyed that I am. And I think that uh, this is going to be this is going to be fine. Now, I do have a, a a pair of reading glasses that I had made for my other DJI goggles. Uh, in fact, the display in this reminds me a lot of how the display looks in the other DJI goggles. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same, the same technology, the same screens. Uh, have you seen Ken Huron's eyes? Yeah, you know, I got a, I got a pair of Ken Huron's uh, little eyeballs uh, for the Mavic, which I d hadn't put on the drone yet. Uh, they might be a little small, but I think that uh, what would really be, what would really be funny for, uh, for this thing. Um, I think that, uh, Let's see here. There you go. This is what I need right here. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think these uh, these eyes right up here would would do it. What do you think? <laughs> that that's that's kind of the way I feel sometimes. But uh, I gotta save that. I'm gonna save that image. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, it says here that this is my uh, live stream control panel, and it says that the uh, stream is good. So I hope you guys are seeing and hearing this thing, uh, this thing well. Uh, I think that while we're at this, um, seeing as we're getting this deep into it, I think what uh, I think what I might do, since I got that activated so easy, will would be to uh, to activate the uh, to activate this thing too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it. I got this little XT60 to alligator clips. And I think what I'm going to do here is uh, I'll do it over here so you can see what I'm doing. I think what I'm going to do is clip these to the red and the black wires. These are great. These are some great alligator clips. <laughs> they don't. Uh, hold on a second. These are some really high class quality alligator clips. There we go. All right. So that's the black, the red rather. And then this one is 
clip to the black. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and uh, just so these things don't short out, I'm going to take a, take a tie wrap. I don't know how we lived before someone invented tie wraps, but there we go. Okay, so what I've got here, I don't know if you can see that, is uh, um, ah, anyway, I've got a fix so it can't possibly short out. So I'll go back over to here and uh, Let's take the other battery and plug it into the air unit and see if we don't if we get smoke. Black to black, red to red. All the other wires are not touching anything. I don't want to I want to make sure that the, none of those other wires are touching the the 12 volt the power wire. And I plug it in. And I don't know if there's any lights or anything on here, but yeah, there is. There's a little red light on the side. Okay, so I know I got power to it. Now I need to go back into my DJI Assistant. And I'm already logged in. I need to plug my USB-C into the side of the air unit i'll do that and go over to the to the screen here and it found it dji air unit activate device start confirm your account agree to this agree to this i have no idea what i've agreed to and i've successfully activated that wow that wasn't that hard and the nice thing, like I was saying the other night, was uh, that um, there's no internet connection on any of these uh, goggles or air units. So um, I'm, I'm pretty well, I feel pretty good about it. I, I, a lot of the stuff that DJI does, I, I wonder about. Okay, now I think the next thing that I need to do, if I want to test this out, is bind the uh this air unit to the goggles so we will plug the goggles in and leave the air unit plugged in and i don't know how to do this so i will let the goggles fire up there and uh, take the lens cap off the camera all right, and uh, read the directions. Let's see here. How to bind this. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Mitch, you have to activate the air unit. Yes, I did. I just activated it. <laughs> it gets real hot without activation. Okay, it does get, it is a little warm. Uh but it should be okay till I figure out how to bind it here. Jody, have you ever fooled with one of these things yet? Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Introduction, installation, wearing, activation, linking. Power on the air unit and the DJI goggles. Press the link button on the air unit and the goggles. Does it say which one you do first, or does it matter? Okay, so let's uh, get my trusty barbecue kebab pick. These little wooden things that you buy in the grocery store for skewers for barbecues with the sharp points make the greatest workshop tools for when you're fooling around and working with, you know, pointing at things and moving wires around, and they're not metal and they don't conduct. So... We got on the, we got a bind button somewhere on this air unit. <laughs> Where is it? All right, that turned red. 
And now we got to find the link button on the goggles, which is over here. What's supposed to have happened? Do you have to go into a menu item to link first or what? Nope, nothing. All right, so let's uh, unplug this thing and read the instructions further before it, that air unit gets too hot sitting there. Uh, right, what did I do wrong? Power on the air unit, uh, DJ guys, press the link button on the air unit and the goggles, and there's an asterisk there, but there's nothing. Oh, when ready to link devices, we'll give the following indication. Air unit, the linking status indicator turns solid red. It did that. Goggles, the goggles beep continually. So where... So uh, my goggles weren't weren't beeping. So I'm wondering if there isn't a uh, there isn't a menu item in here for linking. No. Okay. So it says that the goggles should beep. So maybe you got to hold it for five seconds or something. Nothing. No beeping. So I don't have the air unit plugged in now, and, I'm, and I got a red button here that the thing said is the uh, bind button. I knew it was going too easily. Link button is 18 under the power port. Uh... I guess you have to turn on the air unit first. Hit the bind button. And that went red. And then press the... Uh, And say how long to press it. I'm pressing it and nothing is happening. I have no I have no channel indication on the uh, on the goggles. I may have missed a step here. Something I, I may have to do to the goggles. Does anybody know? Uh, anybody know what uh, let me stop. This is why doing this on a live stream just takes time and it shows you how little you actually know. Um, external power supply. Oh, goodness. I wonder if you have to press the two link buttons at the same time. Could that be it? No, it says when ready to link, the devices will give the following indications. On the air unit, the linking status indicator turns solid red. It did that. On the goggles, the goggles... 
Now, I never got a channel button to light up here on this either. I hope I don't have a bad set of goggles. No, I can't possibly. Must be doing something wrong here. The goggles are activated. I turn them on. There's only so many buttons on them. I get no channel lights whatsoever. There's a button. There's supposed to be uh, lights show up on the side here when you when you click these, but uh, I'm just wondering if there's a menu. Settings. Language, AVN, remote controller, recording settings, and display. Uh, there's a lot of settings in here that, that are grayed out for some reason. Oh, here we go. You, I haven't picked a channel yet. So let's pick channel one. It won't let me pick. It won't let me pick a channel. No, that's the player. Okay, that's that's uh, that's not it. that's got nothing to do. I think I probably need to uh, read the directions. Device max power twenty five milliwatts. Uh, Let me just reset it to the factory mode and see if. No, I'm not getting. I'm not getting any lights in the goggles, and there's something. Something isn't right. Uh, all right, guys. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, investigating and figure out what happens. And God, I hope I didn't get a bad pair of these things. That would be. Very disappointing, but I'm sure it's just something I'm doing wrong. Uh, maybe you need, I, I can't imagine you, you need an SD card in the thing in order to actually have it, uh, have it broadcast, but uh, I've got antennas in it. I powered it up. Um, I, re I activated it. I got the, uh, um, got everything ready to go and I couldn't link it. And turns out I'm not getting any, any kind of transmission on it either. Uh, and it, it may very well be that, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty sure that until you link it, until it links with the uh, receiver, it's not going to show you any channels because the two of them work together. So that's probably why I'm not seeing any channel information. But I need to do a little, a little more reading about uh, linking. And what I might do is just try to Google it and see. Uh, linking. DJI FPV goggles and air unit. Let's see. Linking the components. I have a little video here. So let's watch the little video together. Um, here we go. And let's see. I don't know if you're going to hear this or not, but because uh, it's not going to play through the thing, but Let's just see what it says. Sky FPV goggles with the DJI FPV air unit. Power on the goggles and the air unit. And use the ejector pin to press the lead button on the goggles. Oh, you only press it once. The goggles are ready to be linked. Use the ejector pin to press the lead button on the air unit. When the linking is complete, you should see an FPV image of the air unit. Okay. Well, that uh, 
No, I'm not worried about the remote controller. Okay, so uh, that's what I did. Uh, so let's plug the uh, plug the goggles in again. I'm not boring the hell out, boring you guys too badly. Uh, and uh, plug these in. They power up. No beeping. No, I'm pressing the little link button and no, no beeping. I do have 12.1 volts, which is better than four volts a cell. Uh, I don't know. Let me uh, fire up that assistant program again. Plug in the goggles and make sure that they, they are activated. Okay. New firmware update. Okay. Confirm. All right. So, I'm <laughs> typical DJI fashion, I'm already updating the firmware. Maybe that's what the problem was. And it says zero. Downloading, zero percent. You know what, guys? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is your typical. How many times I've sat with the Mavic drones and everything, trying to get firmware to update. Uh, uh, show these videos, FPV info. Uh, just been watching a lot of these, waiting for the bugs to get worse. Yeah, I know what you mean, but uh, Why is it not downloading the uh, the firmware for this thing? I have a funny feeling I'm just going to have to be fooling around with this thing for for quite a while. It should be it should be simpler. Ensure the device is powered on and a computer is connected to the internet. Yes and yes, device is powered on. There we go. It started. It's up to fifty three percent now. Ninety nine percent. Okay. Uh, you know, this is uh, uh, supposed to be um, a simple thing. <laughs> and I know the DJI makes great stuff and the quality's there and everything else, but God, the hassle of... Uh, of dealing with them sometimes. Now I made it all the way to 99%. Go to the videos, FPV info. You talking to me, Jody? I don't want to touch anything now that it's in the middle. It's in the middle of this, uh, <clears throat> in the middle of this thing here. 
anyway, it says, uh, it says 99%. And uh, in looking at the chat, it, uh, it appears that uh, Jody's the only one. <laughs> it's fun. What else can you do on a Friday night? Yeah. I'm sure there's some other people that have live streams going on besides this one, but uh, um. <laughs> now, come on. It said it, it got to 99% and stopped. Why is that? Do I have a bad cable here or something? There it goes. Failed to upload. All right. So maybe it didn't like that. Uh, Device disconnected. Let me try. Let me try a different cable. This was a cable for a cell phone, and DJI probably probably knows that and decided that it uh, it didn't like that. So let me find another USB C cable here somewhere. I know I got one, uh, but do I have one in this room here? Oh, yes, I got the one that came with the goggles. If that one doesn't work, then we're all in trouble. Let's see here. I'll use the official DJI cable. We'll start this process all over again. So that's plugged in. USB-C is plugged in. Come on. Goggles are turned on. There we go. Okay. Try this again. Okay, we've been here before. Sometimes on these DJI devices, you got to try the, uh, you got to actually try the, um, the firmware update five times before it finally, before it finally takes. Okay, got up to ninety nine percent again. Got got there quicker this time though. And let's see what happens. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take a look at my at my Nazgul Nazgul here. Oh, it is. It's transmitting it now. All right. Maybe it didn't like that cable. Boy, this is a nice light drone. This is... Man, I'll tell you what. This thing has got 12 gauge <laughs> wires to the batteries. Tremendous. They only give you three wires to the receiver, so I guess if you want to use telemetry from the receiver you have to uh, you have to find a an open UART I don't I don't know if uh, I'll have to look at this controller board and see what the spare UART situation I think I remember doing that before I bought it and I think there are some open UARTs which is always handy if you want to put a GPS module on it, but I don't think I'm going to, I want, you know, I've got enough of these. I've got some long range stuff with GPS modules and the R 900s. I may just throw an XM plus in this thing and just fly it around the park. Hopefully it'd be a good flying little drone. Well, I'm, I made a mess of my studio here. I'm surrounded by boxes and everything. Well, we've made it through the third step here. It says updating, updating to 23%. I wonder if I, if there's a firmware update for the camera too. I wouldn't be surprised. So I think I'll try to update that as well. And nobody wants to come in here and keep me company on my stream. I, I can't believe it. I, I probably... Uh, it's probably a lot of people, a lot of other live streams going on on Friday night. I'm, I'd be surprised if Roger and Val and all the rest of them are on. And, but, uh, yeah, you know, I figure if anybody's interested in this, they'll come here and 
Oh, here comes somebody. Here's Carlos. Hey. All right. Carlos. Mitch, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you doing? Have you been watching? A little bit. You know what it is? I didn't want to join you and then leave, but since nobody's coming up to uh, help you, I have a friend coming that's going to call me soon, and then I'm going to go down, and then I'll come back and join you again. No, no big deal. I mean, it's it's not it's not really a show. It's just kind no, of I a... Know. I've been watching you futzing around with the... Uh, yeah. Stuff. I have and a question. Do you have to restart the stuff after the update? Oh, I'm sure you do. You just unplug the power. There's no power switch on... Uh, I'm saying, goggles. did you do that? That's why it didn't work, maybe? No, no, it didn't. It failed halfway through the update. Oh, you know, no, but just, the original time when you first started it, you know, it didn't work. Does that make sense what I'm asking you? No. You you did the update. Or, oh, you have an update. At, oh, no, first you, you, what did they call that? I activated it. No, it didn't activate, fail. Already. And then there's already an update after the activation? Yeah, yeah. They didn't uh, do that from yeah, the beginning? Yeah. You know, that's generally the way uh, DJI stuff is, you know, we, we, Got it. when you get okay. it, when you get a new product from DJI, the first thing that you're going to do is update the firmware. I don't care whether it was invented yesterday, you know, <laughs> you would think they would throw that in with the activation, but I guess that would be too easy. Well, I, I don't think I missed it. I, I watched. No, uh, I, I'm just saying it's probably them. Yeah. I watched on, you know, the messages I got when I activated it and, uh, it uh, it didn't tell me to, to update it. Uh, as a matter of fact, it, 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 what it said was, when I looked at, I did look, there's an update before they send them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, DJI goggles, air unit, remote controller need to be updated separately. Ensure all devices are updated to the same version via DJI Assistant. And it's this says version 1.00.0000. Now you would think <laughs> that that's uh -oh. the first, that's not an update, that that's the latest version, but it, oh, okay. evidently it wanted, it wanted to update them. So, all right, let me unplug the, uh, unplug the, the goggles from this program here. I'm going to say hi to Simple Joyce. Who just yeah, go ahead. go ahead. And now I want to plug in the air unit and check that out too while we're at it so where's the battery for the air unit here we go i guess you're everybody's guinea pig mitch hey well you know somebody's got to do this and, <laughs> and uh work. i know when they when dji sent these things to the big shots you know the rotor riot guy they sent them a it was all already all put together activated and ready to go you know what i mean uh you know what i did see what you were talking about i I think was it yesterday? Uh, the 700 milliwatts compared to the 25. Joshua Bardwell did a video. On yeah, that he recently. did a video. I saw that today. Yeah, okay. I saw that today. Okay, so now we're we're uh, updating the air unit, and it's sitting on it's sitting on zero right now. So uh, there it goes. It's moving. 30, 40. Okay, good. Maybe now I'll be able to bind them. Right. I can't get the, for some reason, you, 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 I, I looked at the video and it just said you pushed the little bind button. It, it, it kind of showed there, they gave you a little metal, little metal, like a SIM removal tool from a cell phone, but I didn't mm -hmm. see that in here anywhere. Uh, and I'm, sh I mean, I, I'm sure my little wooden stick will push the button just as good as that metal, as that metal do SIM you, tool. Do you do iPhones at all? I, I I haven't had an iPhone since the first one. Oh, okay. Only because sometimes they give you that little yeah circular but, with the pin. Just, but that's just you know you can use a paper clip. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean I felt the button. I'm push. not sure. That I don't want to push it too hard. I don't want to push the button too hard. But this this pointy thing here, you know, you it, think it'll it, work? Yeah. Yeah, of course it will. It'll poke a hole in your finger. You used it. You have used it in the past. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Well, let me let me do this. Let me let me unplug the goggles now that I've updated them. Turn them off, and uh, turn them back on again. You know, I bet you these things would look even clearer if I took the clear protective plastic off the lenses. <laughs> well, <laughs> keep them on just in case they don't work. Yeah. Okay. And so oh, by the way, you said your glasses fit in there, no problem. No problem. Yeah. 
That's All right, good. It says DJI. And uh, I click the red button. No beeping. So I'm missing what? Did you pull up those videos that drone shots uh, pasted? No, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of all this right now, but but I'm not getting any any <laughs> linking. I'm not getting any linking, and I'm not getting any channels being on. Uh, maybe the uh, the air unit has to be on in order for you to be linking anything. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn the air, you know, I'll turn these off. And if it doesn't work, then I will have to. Oh, simple joys. I, uh, I verbally said hello to you. I'm not sure if everybody, if anybody no said hello. No response or welcomes coming through from any <laughs> simple joys. <laughs> but I did say we're so, knee deep in, we're so knee deep trying to figure out how to make this crap work here that uh, we're not really playing uh, – uh, I'm not paying too much attention to the chat. Oh, sorry. So, so that, was sorry. My, that was my job while you were working. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for coming by. Uh, that that's that's one of the reasons, Carlos, why I need to have somebody in here with me because yeah, we, I, 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 just, I just didn't want to leave you hanging because I know this. Uh, I have a gentleman coming to visit me real quick for a moment. I have to give him something. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I just can't be doing. I can't be doing that. And, no, I, and, I got you covered while I'm here. Yeah. I just I thought he heard me, greet him, but I don't want him to feel uh, left out or anything. We love everybody, for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> Quick off topic. Anyway, how would I join? Papa Joe is here, but I how think would I join Streamyard on an Android phone? Uh, basically, if if you have an email with the link in it, I think all you got to do is click the link. If you're on a cell phone, isn't that that's what I did? Yes, that's what I'm on now. I'm on a cell phone. So. Yeah, you just just click and, the but link. But the only thing is, sometimes you have to grant permissions. So look for that. Yeah, well, it'll ask I you. Can I use the camera? The, uh, Can I use the microphone? Correct. Yeah. But oh, no, and you also, do, if you do it on an Android, do it with uh, Google Chrome. I think that works easier. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, I think when you click click the link, uh, your cell phone, being a Google, w w Android, will default to Chrome browser, won't it? Actually, yeah, you're right. It's the, the laptop I had an issue with because I have a Mac and it uses Safari. You're right. Okay, so this is updating this firmware and uh, I'm sure I'm missing something very basic and very simple because I, I didn't really take you know, the you time. You could do something crazy and read those instructions. Well, you know, the quick start guide <laughs> basically doesn't say much before oh, you says, get to the, I gotcha. before you get to the, uh, the part where you activate them. In fact, that's right. the first page. Installation and wearing. Install the antennas, install the head band, put the goggles on your face. Use a Make power cable, happen. power port to external power supply. Did that. Activation. When powered on, connect the goggles to a computer run DJI Assistant. Did that. Linking. Power on the air unit and the DJI goggles. Press the link button on the air unit and the goggles. So, uh, and there's an asterisk. When ready to link, the devices will give the following indication. Air unit, the linking status indicator turns solid. Red goggles, the goggles beep continuously. <sighs> Sorry about that. When it's linked, the linking status indicator of the air unit turns solid green. The goggles stop beeping when successfully linked and the video display is normal. Okay, so uh, we, got, we, we completed the update on the air unit. And I'm going to unplug that from the power. And I'm going to unplug it from the computer. Boy, it does get warm, this little air unit. Man. <laughs> okay. No yeah, it does get warm. Okay, so now I'm going to take the goggles again. I'm going to power them on. And see what I got here. There's Mr. Ed. Click on the link. Papa Joe W. The first time it will ask for something. So, oh, hello, Ed. Lunatic. Love my drones. Okay, so uh, so it says DJI. That's what I get to see so far. I get to see the DJI name. 
and you said then, it looks like the white goggles, the same kind yeah, of. Yeah, uh, it looks like the, they're pretty much the same, same display, same size and it's in too, the it's field of view. Right? I'm sure it's probably very similar uh, panels that they're using. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to try this again here. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to plug in the air unit. And again, all you need for the air unit to work is power. You don't need UARTs. You don't need anything. I'm going to push the bind button. It turned green. It's supposed to turn red when you're when you're ready to bind. All right. I wasn't. All right. Let's push the bind button. It turns red. Push the bind button on the goggles. No beeping. I have a picture. I'm linked. There you go. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. I don't know how I did it, but but I am linked and I have I'm on channel eight. See it? It's working. So I can change to channel channel two, channel three. See the three on there? See the number no, three? I can't. You can't I see the three on the, on the oh, side. Oh yeah, now I do. Yeah. Now I yeah. That that changes the channel both on oh, the four. both on the on the receiver and the transmitter at the same time. You just went to four, just for the record. I don't yeah. know if you know. All that. right. Yeah, I did. I went to four. Okay. So now I'm looking in the goggles, and I'm moving the camera around. Holy mackerel! Oh my god! Clear as a whistle. Oh Jesus! I you think know, you messed up your hair with that top strap. I don't care. <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta tell you, man, this is you know, I've been flying <laughs> with those vipers, but this is like sitting like I say, it's like sitting on the on the first row of a drive in movie. It is unbelievable. Holy mackerel. I can see what all the what all the the shouting was about. I got to tell you, man, it is, it's breathtaking. Hey, you want to do something silly? Take it to the corner of your, uh, your house and then come back to your, uh, Oh, your, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. I just wanted to get it fired up and, uh, and make sure that, that it was working and it is working and it is linked. And I don't know what I did. I never did hear the goggles beep. Not once. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh wait, is there a volume button actually? You know, there there might there might be, but you would think that a, an alarm or a beep would not be controlled by the volume, but gotcha. Uh, I'll worry about I'll worry about all that all that stuff uh, later. But it and does what work. Are you thinking of uh, attaching this to? I, that's that's the next I haven't even I didn't want to even do anything about putting it on a drone until I was sure that uh, that it would, I, I could know that I could see in it. Oh, okay. You know, in other words, that that with my eyes, but oh, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It, it's perfect. It's uh, sharp and in focus, and I, I'm only seeing you know the images from both eyes are merging. It, it's it's like sitting in front of of a drive-in movie movie theater screen and bright. Uh, do they still have drive-in movie theaters in Florida? You know, yeah, you see one once. You see, you know, in some of these small towns, you might find one. Yeah, because right. you're, you're showing your age when you say drive-in movie theater. Huh? Yeah, well, we grew up with those <laughs> things. I mean, we yeah. used to, uh, God, this little bugger gets, this little bugger gets hot, man. <laughs> I remember drive-in movie theaters when you had to put the speaker in your car. Now you just tune your radio. Oh, you remember you remember the speakers? Yes, sir. The metal speakers that used to hook over the window. My first drive-in movie theater experience was in Florida. I watched The Exorcist. Did you? How many times did you drive away with your with the speaker and rip out your window? No, no, I was I was a passenger. <laughs> so. <laughs> you remember? Do you many remember that ago when I pumped gas for as a as a teenager? Some lady said, "Keep the change," and I thought she wanted the change, and she drove off with the. The nozzle in her gas tank still. <laughs> oh, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen them driving down the street, dragging the hose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they rip, I experienced that. <laughs> they rip right off the uh, off the thing. Yeah. Bam. Well, 
Well, I got to tell you guys. Um, You're impressed. I got to tell you that that I, you know, I, I have the white goggles, and I always thought that 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 was a breathtaking image. It's just that you didn't feel like you were flying like you do at FPV. You just feel like you're not sitting not there, sit, sitting up yeah. there on a tripod, you know, and pushing it around. Um, but uh, these these goggles, man, I can now I can understand. You know, these this one guy, this one guy inter, uh, interviewer is a black fella, and he's a terrific pilot. I forget his name. I I, I happened on him because I've been looking specifically for. FPV, you know, DJI FPV videos, you know, and uh, he he did one in a parking garage, and he did, uh, and 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 after he got done flying, and he said, I got, he says, if you, if says if you're flying analog now, and he says, and you got a big big investment in analog stuff, and you don't have a lot of money to be buying these things. Don't even try them, he said. Because <laughs> hmm. once you try them, you'll never be happy with your analog stuff again. You're not going to go back. <laughs> I and I can see what he's I can see what he's talking about because that's the thing. The thing. Uh, for me, FPV means first person view. Right. But. When I'm looking at an analog image in these goggles, I don't feel like I'm getting a first person view. I really? feel like I'm watching a crappy video of somebody who had a first person view and held up a crappy <laughs> camera. You know, you know what I'm saying? First well, person view to me. Enough, but I absolutely get it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. First person view to me means I feel like I'm actually there. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm actually there. And I've had that experience. Um, with the goggles, the DJI with, with, with real airplanes. You know, I fly uh -huh. airplane, real airplanes. I fly aerobatics it's, in real airplanes and biplanes. And, you, you know, that me, to me is what it, is the is what I what I'm what I'm trying to achieve with with the drones. In other words, the actual uh, just being it's, enveloped by it. Friend just arrived. I got to take off my back. Say what? Let's go around. My friend is here. I got to um, come back. Okay. All right. And if you don't, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here much longer. We only got eight people and I've, right. I've done what I wanted to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, probably call it a night here in a couple of minutes, but uh, I, I, I got to tell you guys, uh, uh, thanks. Thanks for, for coming in and, and, and sitting with me through this and through the frustrations of uh, uh, getting it up and getting it linked and getting it activated and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm reading the chat here. Uh, let's get the 700 milliwatts. I'll, I'll crank it up to 700 milliwatts when I'm actually ready to fly it on a drone because I don't, you know, if you're not flying and you've got your VTX set to high output power, you're going to generate a lot more heat than you need to. So 25 watts is fine for testing and everything else. And even for flying close in, uh, and uh, when I get out where I'm going to, I know I can go a half mile or a mile away and I have the right radio to do that, then I'll, uh, then I can, I can crank it up. Um, I don't ha have, a, a, and to Papa Joe's uh, point, I don't have anybody down here that I fly with whenever I go or wherever I go to fly. It's just me. I'm always by myself. I'm not concerned about, uh, about that. And I do understand that if you're, if you're in a, in a group of guys and a bunch of friends, that half the fun is, is, is flying along with the other guy in your goggles. Uh, but I'm, I'm not privy to, to, to that kind of community down here. So unfortunately, uh, that won't be an issue for me. Uh, the issue for me has always been, um, been my eyes. I, I, I just can't wear regular goggles without, where I can't have my glasses on under them. And, and I've always I've envied those guys because I know that uh, in fat sharks uh, like goggles, they're a lot lighter, they're less cumbersome, they're they take up less room in your backpack. Uh, they uh, are going to if you have good eyes and you're young, you're going to get a much more immer immersive experience 
that I've been getting through the box goggles. Now the box goggles work fine and I can, I can fly in them, but uh, just putting those DJI goggles on the difference in uh, it just hits you right in the face. It's just all, it's all there. It's like, it's like when you open your eyes and you see the world, that's how much of it is in front of you. Whereas when, when you're wearing the box goggles, you see it, but it, it's out there. It doesn't, uh, you're not really involved in it as much. So we'll, so we'll see. Um, I, I have a lot of uh, uh, analog drones with analog. I'm certainly not going to give them up and I'm not going to convert all of them. I'm prob I've got the two air units here. I'll probably build, make two drones with the, with the DJI and, uh, and I'll continue to fly the analogs and, and probably enjoy them. And, uh, down the road, you know, I'm still pretty new at this, but down the road, uh, if I find that I'm not using any of my analog stuff because I'm just, uh, don't enjoy it at all after, uh, um, after using the DJI stuff, then I'll, I'll just start converting the other quads or sell off a lot of the analog stuff. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I am I am impressed uh, uh, with the things. Just the first impression of the picture. That's all I can tell you right now. Um, Ed, uh, as far as the latency goes, from what I've seen, uh, you got to be pretty far out there at the end of your range uh, to be worried about any kind of latency at all. And and I think it seems that in the other guys' uh, experiences that the um, the DJIs are at, at a certain power rating seem to always be uh, more flyable further out than uh, uh, than the other ones and 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 I can only imagine that uh, there's going to be firmware updates there's going to be uh, improvements in these things there'll be a uh, probably a new air unit it's half the size of this air unit though you know, this is still like uh, getting the first Mavic, um, and DJI is like that. You know, they'll 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 be improving them and they'll be adding some features. The one feature that I really want to see, that uh, I think I'm going to miss, is all the on-screen display stuff. Because right now, the only telemetry that it actually gets and displays is the battery voltage from the drone. It does connect to a UART. Interestingly enough, you can go into your goggles and toggle down the menu in your goggles and change all the PIDs and rates and settings and filters uh, on the flight controller. So it fully integrates with the flight controller, but the, the, the OSD chip on these flight controllers is like a separate little, separate little warehouse. It uh, has its own circuitry coming from the camera, going out to the VTX that really doesn't get all that involved with the, with the flight controller, except that it, it gets telemetry from it. So, um, hopefully DJI will intercept all that same telemetry and how they'll allow you to lay out the OSD on their display will be different than Betaflight. I doubt that you'll be able to go into Betaflight and drag these things around on the screen. DJI is going to probably have their own methods of, of putting these things on and moving them where you want them, but, uh, or they may all just display on the peripherals on the right hand side. I don't know yet, but, uh, I have heard from a number of a uh, couple of these reviewers in their in their videos that uh, that do uh, communicate with DJI. They, they're the, the the chosen ones, I call them. That that is that is coming, and I think you need it because a lot a lot of guys who fly FPV really do rely on a lot of that uh, they, the current uh, readings, the total milliamps drawn on a battery. Uh, is handy to have um, a lot of that stuff. So you can overdo it too. I have a tendency to overdo it, especially with the GPS quads, because I like to see all the numbers, ground speed, altitude, uh, distance to home, direction to home. I just think, think that's cool. But if, for pure flying experience, who wants all that crap <laughs> blocking the pretty picture? <laughs> uh, so guys, uh, I'm going to be doing this probably more often, coming on with these impromptu live streams. 
uh, I don't have many, I don't have much in common with any of the people that live around me here. I have very few friends and none of them that share my interest here in, in, in FBV. I'm not married. I'm a bachelor. So uh, I have uh, what, what a lot of people would call a very pathetic social life. So this is, a, this is nice because this is like having the boys and the girls over to uh, share in your hobby with you. And I, I like this live stream stuff. And I think that uh, if I get you guys to come in and the chat with me and uh, we'll build quads and learn a little bit about this stuff and this FPV stuff and beta flight and anything else. And maybe I'll build a, a little more of a following and uh, who knows? Who knows? But it's fun. I do it for the fun and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I'm so tickled I got those goggles to actually work uh, because if I hadn't have been able to get them to work, I would have been pissed. They would have been on their way back to Amazon tomorrow. So with that, guys, let me say good night. Who's still here? Love my drones. Papa Joe W., thanks for coming in. Jody, drone shots, thank you, Ed. Uh, Simple Joys, if you're still here, thanks for coming by. I think that's about it. It says we got nine people watching, but I see about five of you guys in, in the chat. So uh, I don't know if, if Jerry Calvary's still here, but uh, whoever stopped by, thanks a lot. I don't know if you learned anything. I learned a little bit tonight, but I really need to... Uh, uh, sit down. <clears throat> I think I'll download the real manual from uh, from the DJI site, not just the quick start guide, and and take a little time now when I'm not live streaming and 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 read it and study it. And uh, I think over the weekend I'll probably be uh, coming on with a live stream to uh, to uh, actually install this in a, a drone and get it ready to fly. So if sometime in the, in the near future, the wind and the rain stops around here, we can maybe actually check it out. So thanks for coming. Let me get a little music cooking up here. There we go, as usual. And I did without the sound effects tonight, did without the headphones. Used a little clippy, clippy microphone right there, which is wireless mic which is nice i've got this uh this little little gizmo clip to my belt and uh, lets me walk around wherever i want and swing around without having to be stuck next to that microphone that uh, that is over here remember that so we're high tech here surrounded by technology all right guys take the rest of the day off as I usually do after these things, I'm going to go out, relax, light up, fire up a cigar, watch a little TV, and uh, leave all this FPV technical crap till tomorrow. And uh, with that, uh, I'm going to search for the red button. Oh, no. Oh, God. All right. Okay. All right. Hang on a second. There he is. Just oh. when, Just when I thought I was out. They dragged me back in. <laughs> All right. Just wanted to stop by and say hi. I know you were about to close up shop, so don't let me stop you. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Art. I'll, uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you, you you came by. It's okay. I mean, I'm I've got. It's not like I got some place I got to be. Whoops! <laughs> lost my unclip my microphone. Now it's everywhere here. Hold on a second. Let me. All clip right. that back on my waist. You know, this wireless mic is kind of neat, you know. Cool. Uh, I like it. I like it. And and actually, what I did is I just have a little a little Bluetooth speaker on my desk. Oh, Not nice. loud enough to screw with the microphone, but loud right. enough for me to hear. Um, and I don't have to wear the headphones. Oh, nice. And you're not hearing any feedback from that speaker into what? The, you're not <laughs> you're not hearing any feedback from that, no. are you? No. no. But uh, now it's uh, it, it's kind of a nice way. To, it doesn't look as you know. This looks uh, yeah. Broad, you, this looks broadcasty. Yeah, and, you and, look and, like you're ready to to bring in a an aircraft. You're the control tower. Now you're, tell me, you're tell clear me. on thirty two L. Honest opinion, which mic sounds better? This mic or this mic? They both sound about the same. 
this mic here is the uh, Audio Technica. Oh, okay. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a this little mic. bit louder, tiny bit louder. Well, I could, you know, I mean, it has each one of them has its own volume control, right? But uh, that's this mic here. Uh huh. And this is the lavalier mic that's on my clip to my shirt. Uh, it sounds so, just as clear as the other one. Cool. Yeah. Okay, good. good. Yeah, it sounds good. You know, uh, who was talking about? Uh, Somebody was talking about giving somebody a uh, wireless mic. Was oh, it, that was uh, last night on Ken's show. They were yeah. going to give that kid. Uh, That's right. Jack Ryan. I, I was going to say hunt for red October. Yeah. Now that, that Comica wire is what I have here. Oh, okay. It, it's a terrific, uh, terrific wireless mic. Right. And it has a two channel receiver. So you can, I have the wireless mic and I have a handheld wireless mic too. And mm -hmm. it can use, and you can use both of them at the same time with this, with this receiver. Nice. Uh, and it can either send each mic into a different stereo channel, or it can mix the two of them together and mm -hmm. send it to a mono. It, it, it's, and it, and it comes, it'll plug right into, it has a, a XLR plug. So I've taken right. the output from the wireless mic and you have all kinds of, adapters that come with it you have a little right. uh, three and a half inch jack or a xlr jack or right balanced xlr and you and there's an xlr adapter that splits the two channels of that wireless receiver out into a left and right xlr mm -hmm. separate right. channels so pretty neat it's pretty neat and uh costs about 300 the whole works is over 400 bucks way back right. when, you know last year when i got it um, uh -huh. Now, are you using the uh, OBS or what? What uh, streaming software? Are you yeah, using? I'm using OBS here. I'll show okay. you. Um, I have. Uh, that's not it. Not Wirecast. Like there it is. Yeah. Okay, you see, you see what I got here. Right. No, no. I uh, that that uh, you don't ever see me having all the problems again. Why Ken Hearn sticks with that crap? I will never know. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, it's Greg. Greg Cooter. Uh, yeah, saying things like, um, well, for the things that we need to do, we need this. Well, bullshit, I think. You know, yeah. Maybe there's something you can do at Wirecast that you can't do at OBS, but I got news for you. Whatever it is, you could live without it and not have all that grief mm -hmm. <laughs> on your show. So what you're looking at on my, on my monitor here is uh, down here in the lower left-hand corner, this right. is a big 43-inch uh, 4k monitor right so down in the lower left hand corner is my obs right see it can you see that can you see the mouse where i, where I have the mouse mm -hmm. there yep and uh that's where i that's where i can transition so i can go like put up a shot of me here uh -huh. and hit the transition button and right. full front transition back <laughs> or i can do it with my uh elgato stream deck which i have uh -huh. and uh that uh <laughs> Without having to actually, I can do all this stuff without actually having to touch the mouse on the board. I can pull up any scene with these push buttons that I have here. Right. Um, and then what I have up here are just some utility things. Like this is the, uh, why didn't it close? I don't know. I'm having a, I have a, uh, an, a, something with this. It won't close. Wow. What the hell is that all about? Mm. Close window. And plus, you're running a sound effects board too, as well, aren't you? I'm running, uh, boy, this thing is just something locked it in place. Oh, oh, it asked me if I want to save the changes. That's why I won't close. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, I have a, uh, uh, a tablet. Oh, okay. With us, with a couple of the sound effects apps. Okay. And nice. I have a, just plug the audio output of the tablet just runs over to my mixer and plugs into one. Right. Of the, I have mm -hmm. a six channel zoom, uh, recorder, which right. serves as a mixer too. So, uh, mm -hmm. it's a digital recorder, um, which you can use for professional stuff, six mm -hmm. channels, or right. you can use this as a six channel mixer. 
mm -hmm. and convert it to USB and send it off to get pure. So it's pretty versatile, pretty versatile piece of equipment. And uh, uh, I can take it out to the field if I'm doing some drone flying and I want to record all the ambient noise around to use when I'm making the video. Like if I go to the beach and I'm doing some flying up and down the beach and everything, you know, I'll set this little zoom recorder up and record the real ocean sounds and the birds and, right. and use that in, in my video. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I did a tennis, uh, uh, a pickleball like tennis tournament right from the drone. So I set the recorder up halfway in right around where the net was mm -hmm. and I recorded it in stereo the ball going back and forth. Buck, buck, mm -hmm. buck, buck. And then when I, when I was, when I edited the drone footage, I put this sound, the actual sound and synchronized it right to the, to, to the actual action. And, and, and you know, you, you're watching it from the drone, but you're hearing it from courtside. So it, right. it, that's a great little recorder for that, but it works as a mixer. So I didn't have to buy a, a mixer. And I have, I have that set up here in front of me, but this, uh, and then I keep the chat over here on the, right chat where I can see everybody mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, that's how I do it I have the green screen behind me right um, and uh, you're using the vmix though aren't you yes I am yeah I I don't I've never played with vmix I have no idea what makes it different from OBS uh, but uh, they I all have it's a, it's a little simpler to set up but yeah. it probably does pretty much all the same stuff uh you could do except uh lloyd and i we have the mid-range model that can only do two guests two people well but you can you use you can still use stream yards though yeah, I use yeah. Stream yards yeah. because that's what i'm doing well. I'm, I'm using obs but i'm not streaming Right within OBS, because if I did that, I'd have to bring my guests in in uh, Skype. Right. And uh, but and to, to connect the output of OBS to. Uh, to uh, stream yard. Yeah, to screen yards here. Let me you know, yep. that gives me the ability to control what happens in my window, just like right. you have the ability to control your window. Yes, yeah, so. and the ability to control all the windows with all the different guests, mm -hmm. and uh, and and put up you know put up display chats down there at the bottom, which I haven't done because I've been busy working on this, all this equipment stuff here. But uh, want to say hi to the drone shots and uh, love my drones, and uh, Carlos. Uh, Carlos is he back? Yeah, he's he's at the bottom there. Yep. Oh, oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I said I was going to shut it down. Well, this thing's gone for two hours now, and well, I, I, I really didn't. I really only expected it to go for about a half an hour. While I took yeah. the yeah. goggles out of the box. I and thought that you would. Here they are. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, you didn't see them yet, huh? No, not yet. You, you, yeah, you were going to do an unboxing, and uh, oh, I did. Nice, Ant Man. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Looks good, and yeah. you can wear glasses with that. So yeah, well, that's that was the, that was the a number one concern. Right. And then if you watch, if you go back and watch the actual unboxing, mm -hmm. when I first put them on and turned them on, I was so elated that I could focus with these glasses. Oh, great! That's uh, one see see clearly with them. It, it it it's it's just terrific. And pro and there's some plastic. Uh, there's still some plastic. Uh, protectors on the lenses inside you know you peel off and throw away oh yeah like, like and I'm uh, sure it'll look yeah. even better it'll look even better when i peel them off you know yeah there you go that, I, have to let, I have to wait till dana is around. yeah there you go video yeah. it and send it to ken yeah these things you these things you just don't want to uh you don't want to leave these on they <laughs> they're yeah. really going to be counterproductive mm -hmm. to, to, to yep. leave them on but it's nice. It's nice. It comes with a nice little carrying bag and oh, wonderful. And I got the uh, this is the this is the stuff that actually goes in the drone itself. The little air unit uh -huh. and the camera, and yeah. it's tiny. It's really tiny. Cool. Uh, and I got it all hooked up and working. And I saw the picture from the camera through the thing and almost had a bird. It was so gorgeous. The picture was so so good. It's gonna what a difference it's going to be. What a difference. Wonderful. And. Uh, uh, even, 
even the monkey likes them, you know, I mean, <laughs> see him, see him there. Yeah. <laughs> even the monkey likes them. Oh, and, and don't forget to watch Art Co. tomorrow. I've got tomorrow, what time? It, it'll be 7 p.m. your time. Tomorrow night. Seven. And I have Ed Rick. Oh, Art Co., that's, yeah, your Saturday night stream. Yeah. Well, you know what happens is I usually somehow end up on with Spike over there. Oh. And you guys are on at the same time. Yeah. So. Well, he's on right now, I believe. Spike? Yeah, I think he's doing another test. Oh, you know, I, I you know what, I... I I figured that I'm going to do this tonight because there were some people that were interested. Uh -huh. So I figured I'd do it. There and you go. People want to watch someone else. That's fine. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I had a good time. We got it, got it done. And, uh, I found, uh, uh, somebody said that I should put, that I should put some, uh, some eyes, eyes on the front. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, so, I, what Ken so I found, uh, so I found these. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What do you oh, think? Oh, that'll, that'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> all right, Art. Well, hey, thanks for coming in. Good to. Hey, you, you're good welcome. To see you as usual. Yeah. I'll, I'll catch you tomorrow night. You got who? You got Ed Ricker tomorrow night. Yeah, that's right. Oh, mackerel, man. How? I'm not even good enough to talk to Ed Ricker. <laughs> I need. To, oh man, I need. You know, I need to give you the. Mm -hmm. Come on now. There we are. Hell. <laughs> All okay. right. I'll, I'll, I'll tune in and uh, see you then. Wonderful. All, All right. right. Have a good evening. Yeah. Take care. All right. Bye. -bye. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. All right. For whatever two or three of it are, us are left, I'm going to say goodbye, turn up the music and uh, shut everything off and go smoke a cigar. So until next time, uh, take the rest of the day off. A little late to play with your drones, but play with whatever you got. And uh, I will see you probably real soon with this DJI stuff. And continuing to let you tag along on this adventure of mine. And maybe we'll just uh, all learn something together. So with that said, adios. We will see you the next time. And now, say goodbye. Just thanks. Oh, <laughs> my